Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. When you drive a crappy car, you may be faced with a problem like I have. And that is that I have a lot of crappy cars. Some of them run, some of them don't. And when a car stops running, usually I try to fix it. If I don't feel like fixing it or I can't fix it, the next thing to do is sell it to somebody or send it off to a scrapper. Today, we're going to explore what it looks like sending it off to a scrapper. But first, I want to tell you guys how I got to that point, because usually you're going to make the most money if you can sell it. So we did try to sell the car. And no, we're not talking about one of these fine cars here. All of these ones actually run. To show you the one that we're getting rid of, we got to go to the backyard. So let's go there. We'll go out here. So no, we're not talking about this expedition, even though you can see it clearly needs an airbag. We're going to actually fix that airbag, maybe in another video. Sorry, I gotta just look down because there's so much ice back here. But the car that we're looking to get rid of today is back even further in my no man zone where I park my trailers and stuff. So this is the car here. It's my daughter's 2005 Pontiac Pursuit, also known as a G5. Now it started to develop a engine tick, which if you've seen my other videos showing you how to get rid of engine tick using automatic transmission fluid, we already tried that. We stuck some ATF in here, we ran it for a bit. It did not fix the issue. I have a reason to believe that it has a broken timing chain guide. And that involves taking, basically taking the engine out to replace it, and it's just not worth it. So, let's see if the engine starts. Ooh. No, nothing now. Now there is an interesting story about this and it's going to be saved for another day. I'm going to rant about idiots, but today's not the day for that. So uh, we can sell this car as a parts car or we can sell it as a scrap car. So I've chosen to sell it as a scrap car and I'm going to show you what that looks like now, I guess. That's the best thing to do. I started out by posting the car for sale on Facebook Market. I was very transparent. I said, look, the engine needs a new timing chain guide. Uh, car starts and runs, but needs to be fixed before you do anything to it. That was before I actually sold it to an idiot who then drove it home and then broke it and then told me I needed to give him a refund. Because I'm such a nice guy, I gave him a refund. Now I have the car back. And now it's time to go to part two here, which is a service called Junk My Car. Now, one of the Facebook market buyers reached out to me when they saw the car for sale and they said, hey, we'll just scrap the car for you. No hassle, no mess. Just enter your info on here and we'll give you a quote and we'll pick the car up. So that's what we're going to do. It's time to give that a try. So I'm going to click here, get a quote. I'm going to put my phone number and I'm going to put my email. I'm going to put 2005 Pontiac Pursuit. And I'm going to say uh cats are still intact the reason that's important is because they make a lot of money selling the catalytic converters so if they know there's a cat they'll give you the top dollar for it um car does not run submit so now we wait now we wait for them to get back to us and then we go from there so while we wait for the quote to come in, let's look at what the steps involved are. And if you scroll down, it's quite easy. It says how it works, connect with us. So use the form, which we just did, and get a quote. Now we're waiting for the quote to come back. They're gonna reply very shortly to me through email or call or text, and then we schedule the tow. They're gonna give me a price based on what they think they'll be able to give me, but when the tow truck driver comes up, I think they confirm the price that they offered. Then. They can do same day pickup. So I've actually told them I don't want same day pickup. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the day, mostly because I want to film this video for you guys. I want to make sure that it's still light out when they come and it's getting late in the day here. And then after that, we get paid. So we've done step one. We've done step two. I know that they've promised to pay me a reasonable amount of money. It's not as much as I wanted, 
but it's a very respectable amount of money. It's also the reason why it's so hard for me to get a car for my $500 car challenge now, because these guys are paying more than $500 for broken cars. I used to be able to buy running cars for about $500, but these guys have upped their game, so now I have to up mine. This car was purchased for $450. It's rear wheel drive, makes about 280 horsepower. It is the perfect road trip car. And I'm going to show you how on this segment. It's a side concern of mine for another video again. Point one is done. Point two is done. Now we just need to wait for the pickup and to get paid. So we're going to show you guys what that looks like after it's been scheduled and when the guy shows up. So for you guys, it's going to be a camera cut. For me, it's going to be tomorrow. So Sal has already texted me to say, hey, Anton, we just got your uh, news about your car. Uh, let's chat and let's set this up. So very, very fast service. The phone call didn't come through because I was recording and it actually blocks phone calls while I'm recording because I'm using my lavalier mic to record to my phone. But you guys didn't come here for that. So Steve, his driver is going to come pick up tomorrow at 4 p.m. So we now have the scheduled tow time and they're going to come tomorrow. Not because they need to wait a day because I told them to wait till tomorrow. They were willing to come today. Same day service, just like they say. If you need it gone fast, these guys will take care of that. So tomorrow, we're going to get it loaded up and we're going to see how much they pay me for this car. Looks like our tow truck driver has arrived. We're going to go meet him and watch the car get loaded. All right. Um, I just need your email and a picture of your ID. Okay. And then he will e-transfer you the money for it. Okay. Give me a minute and I'll go grab that. So it seems like they do uh, some credibility check, make sure you own the car that you are, that they're buying from you. So I'm gonna go back in the house, get my wallet and get my ID so I can prove who I am. Well, and they're gonna load the car while I do that. That's it, she's gonna go away. So that's it, the car is on the way now. Nice, easy, painless transaction. They ended up giving me a fair price for it, not as much as I hoped to get, but I mean, it's a broken car, so what can you expect? But. Next time you're getting ready to get rid of an old junker that's not worth a whole lot, salvage yards are a great option. And you know, it could be the right option for you. I will put a link in the description to the guys that we used. If you're in the Calgary area, I'm sure they would love to get your business as well. And you can tell them that Anton from Gears and Tech sent you.